All right, Leo, let's get started with your love read. Let's see what messages we have. All right. What messages do we have for Leo? Oof, coming out with a bang. Uh, we're gonna put that back because that was way too many cards at one time. What y'all got going on, Leo? What is the situation for Leo? All right, we got music. So some of you guys, you could be a musician. You could be dealing with someone that is a musician. We also got snake trauma, harmony, and melodic. And melodic. So for some of you guys, you could be being hypnotized um, through music. You could be hypnotizing, okay? We got the grass is greener. Um, for some of you guys, you may think the grass is greener somewhere else. Or someone may think the grass is greener somewhere else. We got jealousy. We got better option, unhappy. Some of you guys feel like you deserve better. So you could be looking elsewhere, feeling the grass may be greener somewhere else, okay? Some of you guys could be looking toward a musician. What messages? What guidance? What, what is the situation for Leo? We got toxic relationship. Oh, let's see what's underneath here. So we have toxic relationship, we have heartbreak, we have wedding, we have between the lines. Whew. So for some of you guys, you're dealing with a toxic uh, relationship. And right now you could be going through some sort of heartache, some sort of betrayal. There's some sort of marriage that's involved here. We got marriage forever, the one union. For some of you guys, this is about a union, maybe even about finding the one. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, with grass is greener, toxic relationship and heartbreak, you're breaking away from a toxic relationship, going towards something that you feel is better, and that could lead to a wedding or could lead to some sort of union. But I feel like you need to read between the lines, okay? I feel like for some of you guys, there's something that's very vague. Um, Someone may say something, it means something else. We also got hidden meaning here. So I feel like if someone's telling you something, um, you may need to read between the lines. What other messages do you have for Leo? We got intuition. Yeah, follow your intuition. Some of you guys needed to follow your intuition right now. I feel like uh, someone may have found, or someone may have felt as though they found a better option. And this could be heartbreaking to you. What messages do we have for Leo? We got new love, but in reverse. Um, for some of you guys, there's someone coming in, but this, this could be about someone that's not new. It may feel new, but I feel like this is almost saying like the honeymoon phase is over here. Um, we got legal matters. Some of you guys may be dealing with legal matters. Could be dealing with this new love uh, energy here. So it's a new love, but not a new love. This could be someone from your past. Someone could be coming back around. Um, but it feels new, so maybe there hasn't. Maybe this is someone that you've cut unfinished business. This is someone that you have. I'm gonna take that. Maybe someone has some sort of regret dealing with some unfinished business. Something's not over. It says there's a back and forth pattern here. So this could be someone that you've dealt with previously, and it could be coming back as a new love, but not a new beginning. For some of you guys, it's right under toxic relationship. So this could be the toxic relationship. You could be going back and forth with someone. All right, what messages do we have for Leo? We have unexpected. So there could be something unexpected um, happening for you. It says surprise, unpredictable, shocking. There's an unexpected change that's happening here. Okay. What messages do we have for Leo? One more for Leo. All right. We got healing. So I feel like there's an unexpected. Some of you guys, this card just flips sideways. So. This is not a new love, but they are at the same time. This is someone that you haven't actually experienced. Um, I feel like maybe this could be a situation where something didn't click. Um, like maybe you guys were communicating or maybe you're friends or maybe you just knew each other. This could be like someone you know. I, I want to say like someone you know from around the way or maybe it's like a, a social media friend or something like that. This could be someone that you could have started some sort of conversation and then, I don't know, went separate ways. There's a coming back here. Unexpectedly, I feel like something's going to be healed. I also feel like there's some sort of, you could be healing. You could be going through some sort of improvement, some sort of healing process in your life. We're going to clarify unfinished business, toxic relationship, um, between the lines, intuition, and we're going to clarify this new love in reverse. Okay? 
I feel like for some of you guys, you could be dealing with some jealousy. Someone could be jealous of you. Someone could be uh, in a space of being jealous of like uh, maybe the way you live, maybe the way you look, maybe, you know, what you have going on. Someone could be jealous of you or you could be jealous of someone else. Okay, let's clarify here. Why is unfinished business here? Unfinished business means what unfinished business means. It means that something is not over. Um, there's a lot of baggage within a situation. Um, patterns going back and forth. Some of you guys need to identify a pattern. Eight of Swords here. So there's a lot of baggage here. Eight of Swords is mental restriction. Some of you guys feel stuck within a situation. Something that's unfinished or something you need to close out. Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. For some of you guys, you could have... Um, you could be in a space of feeling restricted and not able to speak your truth about something, not being able to speak the truth. You could be turning down some sort of opportunity. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Someone's walking away. So someone's walking away here. Page of Swords. And I feel like this is challenging. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone that's walking away and that's challenging. Or you could be walking away from a situation where there was some challenges. Queen of Swords here. Maybe you're seeing the truth of a situation, seeing um, the truth. Maybe dealing with some sort of delay. You got two eights here along with this unfinished business. This is a cycle. I feel like some of you guys are dealing with a karmic relationship. Karmic relationships are relationships that come in cycles. And you got toxic relationship right here. Someone isn't telling the truth with that ace of swords. Why is that ace of swords right there? We have the four of wands. No, the five of wands. Someone's not telling the truth. There's some inner conflict. Especially with that eight of swords. You could be um, conflicted internally about your truth, about the truth of something. World card here. There's a cycle that's ending for some of you guys. I feel like you could be conflicted about this ending or you could know High Priest is here with the uh, world card. You can know that something's ended and that creates some sort of conflict within you. Um, so some of you guys could emotionally like withdraw yourself from a situation. We got toxic relationship. Toxic relationship. I say relationship, so I don't know hip has something to do with it. Maybe some of you guys got a bad hip or something. Um, but with toxic relationship here, it says fighting, codependent, misunderstanding, and trigger. So you could be dealing with an abusive relationship. You could be dealing with a codependent relationship. Y'all are fire signs. Fire signs are spicy. So y'all could be the abuser. I'm just being, I'm just being honest. Um, you got misunderstanding. So you could be dealing with a situation where there's a lot of misunderstanding. There's a lot of arguments. There's a lot of triggers. You could be triggering each other. Um, and this is definitely like a dominance. So somebody, this could be like a power struggle. Someone could be trying to have dominance over someone else. Why is this toxic relationship here? We have the Queen of Wands here. So this is your energy. You could be in the space of trying to dominate a situation or you could be wanting to free yourself. This is, could also be wanting to free yourself from a toxic relationship because the Queen of Wands is very free. So you guys may want to be single. You may want to invest elsewhere. Why is this a, I mean, why is this a toxic relationship here? Seven of Cups, yeah. Some of you guys got options. Or maybe you're dealing with a toxic relationship where there could be another option. Either you got another option or someone you're dealing with has another option. Because Seven of Cups is options. Someone got uh, choices. King of Wands here. King and Queen of Wands. Someone has choices. I feel like masculine or feminine here, you got choices. Or someone else has choices. But Four of Pentacles here, I feel like either someone's holding on to a choice. Someone could be holding on to a choice. Someone could be holding on to someone else. Because the Queen of Wands can represent like the other woman. Someone could be holding on to someone else. Someone could be holding on to their choices. Not one, You know how they always say, uh, uh, what they say? I let my roster go. Someone could be holding on to their roster. You know, because they could be dealing with some toxicity within a, within a certain connection. We got the Magician under here. So I definitely feel like... Um, with the magician, I feel like there's some action that is necessary. Someone needs to either take action to remove themselves from the situation. What is this? Take action to do what makes them happy. Someone here has made an unwise choice with this relationship. So we got between the lines here. With hidden meaning, they speculate or implicate. I feel like there's some hidden meaning um, behind someone's actions. Why is between the lines here? Yes. Look at here. High Priestess here with the eight, with the seven of wands. For some of you guys, you know someone is either being resistant or... So someone can be being vague with you and you know that they're being vague with you. You know that they're hiding something from you. Lover's card here with the two of wands. Someone could be at a crossroads here about a lover's. Uh, someone could be at a crossroads about making some sort of decision. King of Pentacles here. This guy has something to do with money, something to do with the commitment. Um, King of Pentacles is an earth sign. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, we also got you here. 
with the Queen of Wands. I actually don't see, or the High Priestess, that is, um, that is Cancerian energy, but I don't, and Taurus energy, but, and the Gemini is Lover's energy, but I don't really see a lot. I feel like this is about you. That's what I'm trying to get at. I see people here, but this is more about you. I feel like you're needing to become more secure and start to see things for what it is because with the King of Pentacles coming for in between the lines, like you could definitely be dealing with the King of Pentacles because there's a lover here. And for some of you guys, you know that someone's at a crossroads. But I feel like you know that you're needing to go down a new journey and you're needing to trust your intuition and commit to that. But for a lot, and the only reason why I say that, for a lot of you with this Seven of Pentacles and this um, Knight of Wands, it's almost like you're ignoring that and you're choosing to invest in your desires and that is a problem that's why you're in this position of having this toxic relationship because instead of making decisions that are to the betterment of your path you're making decisions that fulfill your needs for the moment your physical ego needs maybe you're you're dealing with people for attention or maybe you're um doing things um you know just either for money or for likes or you know Whatever the case may be, you're not valuing, valuing yourself right now because you're dealing with toxic connections, going back and forth, holding on to a lot of different options. I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles under here, this is about being more secure within yourself. And I feel like that's what you need to work on at this moment. With intuition here, I feel like for some of you guys, you're needing to, it says gut feeling, psychic premonition, sixth sense. Some of you guys need to trust yourself. You need to trust what you feel. And I don't feel like you're doing that because you're still in this space of temperance here. Um, you feel like you don't have any guidance right now. And you do. I feel like for some of you guys, you don't feel protected. Um, divine timing in reverse. So something, this, this literally says it's not the right time. Like, I feel like you know that it's not the right time for something to happen. I feel like you know that with the Page of Wands here, there's new things that you have to explore. New things that you have, some more things that you have to do. Death here, Five of Swords. So some of you guys, this is like putting an end to an unwise choice. You made an unwise choice and it's it's about choosing to put an end to that. Nine of Cups here with the Magician. Some of you guys are trying to manifest material happiness for yourself. You're trying to manifest good times. And I don't mean like a... Uh, partying i mean you're trying to manifest more abundance more joy within your life within your personal life and i feel like for some of you guys because you're not facing the issues in your personal life you are projecting them into your relationships and they're becoming toxic because you may be uh i hate to bring them up but will and jada will say something very important and i feel like a lot of people need to become more aware of this will stated that him and jada in their relationship chose to make sure that they were happy within themselves and then they will come on a path together and work toward you know like he's on his path she's on her path but they're happy together i feel like for a lot of you guys because you don't have peace or joy within yourself right now because you're in the space of projecting these these trauma outward it's reflecting in the relationships because now you're you're magnetically attracting people who are also on that vibration where they're not really secure within themselves, not they're not really uh, at a high vibration. You're projecting people who basically don't have a lack of self-worth and, and they project that to you as you project that to them. You get what I'm saying? So this is really about seeing your value, reading between the lines. Some of you guys, you know that something has to change with the war card. You know that something has to end. But it's more more so, and even with the death card and five of swords, what has to end is the fact that, okay, you made an unwise decision. You dealt with the consequences of those unwise decisions. Now it's time for you to follow your intuition, put yourself back on the right path. You, there's a lot of unfinished business that you have. There's a cycle that needs to be closed out, but there's this restriction and walking away because it's almost like you don't want to face the truth. It's almost like with the five of ones, you don't want to face the truth of some loss. Five of ones is a loss. Um, so this is like losing a battle, losing something, um, losing a battle because five of ones is conflict. So some of you guys, maybe it's like you don't want to lose what are you gaining by staying uncomfortable and in situations like look at this this isn't this isn't fucking comfortable look at her like what do you gain by staying in situations that hurt you gain pain and if you're like regardless of what's going on outside of you regardless of who you think is going to win if you let go you're gaining pain you have to choose to free yourself 
from any situation that is restricting you from being free. So with new love coming in, some of you guys are definitely dealing with um, some sort of, of, yeah, this is from a relationship that has ended. Ten Pentacles came out in reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with it's a lack of commitment. It's a lack of stability. For some of you guys, there may have been a commitment. Um, Ten of Pentacles is for the money. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Because Ten of Pentacles upright is wealth. But Ten of Pentacles in reverse, that's temporary money. Some of you guys are doing something for the money. Queen of Swords here. This is about seeing things clearly, making logical decisions. Why is this new love in reverse? We have the Six of Swords in reverse. Some of you guys, it's like you haven't moved forward. You can Listen. You can't have new coming in if you don't let go of the old. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles here with the World card. I'm telling you, some of you guys need to invest in ending a cycle. You've learned the lesson. You're holding on for what? And what's crazy, you want to be free. You have an option to be free, but you're holding back and still holding on to those options. Someone here has a lot of options or someone is holding on to an illusion. It's a toxic relationship. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Virgo Gemini. Could be dealing with a... Um, cancer could be dealing with a, it's earth signs here, um, could be dealing with a fixed sign with the world card. So that's Leo, um, that's you, that's Aquarius, that's Taurus and cancer. I think it's cancer. All right. So let's move on. Y'all see me like winch in my back hurt. Winch, winch. I think I said that wrong. <laughs> but my back hurt bad. I got a pinched nerve down there. And every once in a while, it'll start giving me little issues. All right. Sabotage. Someone sabotaging a connection uh, with you guys. I feel like for a lot of you guys, my bad, y'all. Listen, this could be a, a sign too. I seen a water company pull up outside, and I know I paid my bills. So I'm like, what the fuck they doing? They going to my thing. I went out there. I was like, uh, I paid my bills. They was like, oh, we're just changing the water meter. Well, I thought y'all gonna cut me off, and I was gonna have to throw a fit, cause give me back my money, money. So anyway. Someone here is sabotaging, um, and it, it could be for some of you guys, it feels as though your water is being cut off, but really and truthfully, you're losing something to gain something better. And that's literally what just happened. They took out my old meter, put in a new meter, a new updated better meter. So if you're closing out a cycle with somebody, you're getting something better. Okay. Um, for some of you guys, either you sabotage situations or someone you're dealing with sabotage situations. It says, I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. Someone is like a self-sabotageur. Like that, uh, every time something good happens, they sabotage it because there's air of having good things. And it could be you. All right, so let's see here. What messages do we have for Leo? We got for Leo. Values. Some of you guys are dealing with someone. You guys have different values here. This could have something to do with money. Okay? It says we have too many diff we have too many differences. So I feel like um you're dealing with a situation where your values are different, maybe even um like your financial standing. So you, one of you guys could be have a very high financial standing, could have a lot of money, and one of you could not. But I feel like that is the issue because maybe you see that as worth, and if you place your value in how much money you have, you'll always be worthless. Um, I feel like this could be a lesson on on valuing yourself. Maybe you sabotage situations where you think people are better than you based off of their financial um, status, and that is that is not true. Okay, or or maybe even their popularity or something. That's not true. You can't bait because. Even the person, even the, some of the, like, I, I watched a, a doc, not a documentary, but a little TikTok one time where a lot of the actors, actors and actresses that you see 
working on these TV shows are broke. Like they're having to waitress and work, you know, you know, little jobs just to get by because they're not making enough money. So looking at something from the outside does not determine it. Like I don't look like I do what I do, but I do what I do. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like if you're looking at someone and you're placing, like if you're feeling insecure based on someone's status, I feel like you're needing to reevaluate why you feel that way. Because regardless of what they have or what they don't have, it does not matter when it comes to your value as a person, okay? Um, let's see here. What other messages do we have for Leo? Ooh. Got a lot. So we got indecisive. Some of you guys are dealing with someone that is indecisive. It says, I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. Okay. Someone is indecisive and they're aware that that hurts you. So this could lead to a missed opportunity here. It says, I didn't act when I should have. Someone could be in the space of missing an opportunity. You could be missing an opportunity. With runner here, I definitely feel like um, someone doesn't want to run anymore. Um, but, but it's here. So even though they don't and they're still running. The runner's still running here. Even though they don't want to run anymore, I definitely feel like they're still running. And with secrets here, it says I haven't told you everything. And that's why they're still running. Because they have secrets. Someone here, look, look, at, look at God. Dishonesty here. Someone was being dishonest. And, and they may have neglected you in the process of this. May have held back. Okay? But someone was being dishonest. I'm going to take them. What other messages do we have? Or me? What other messages do we have? Ooh, so we have irreplaceable, but it's in reverse. So I feel like when things are in reverse, I feel like, especially these cards, it's like a, a negative. It's, it's saying that it's saying that this energy is here, but it may not be directed to you. So I don't know if you're dealing with someone that is in a connection where they feel like the person that they're with cannot be replaced, but it's a negative on you. So it's almost like they're replacing you. And even with unfinished business, it's almost like they're replacing you for someone they feel like they have some things to, to dissolve or some things to re resolve and discuss. Someone could, be, someone could be running back to a situation to fix a situation. Some of you guys could be dealing with... Uh, let's see. What messages do we have for Leo? Or some of you guys could feel like someone in your life is irreplaceable. We got detachment, yeah. So you could be in a space of wanting to detach yourself or dealing with someone that is detaching themselves. It says, I had to let go so I could clear my mind. So someone detached from a situation so that they can clear their head, um, see things from a different perspective. We got conversation. I feel like someone wants to reach out and have a conversation with you. It says, I want to call you and hear your voice. Someone wants to have a conversation with you. It looks like a pleasant conversation. Um, let's see here. We got time, Ooh. but this person may feel like it's a little too late to take action. So some of you guys are dealing with someone that, and we got absence. So you guys are separated at the moment. Uh, it says, I feel like a part of me is missing without you. I definitely feel like someone is affected by you guys not communicating, you not being together. Um, and I feel like this person sabotaged the situation by being indecisive, uh, by running. Uh, I feel like they're running because they have secrets. But the problem that I'm getting is the secret is there's someone that they won't let go of. I'm going to clarify this. There's someone that they won't let go of, whether it be uh, an ex-lover, whether it be um, um, a long-lost friend, they dog from middle school. I don't know. But there's, some, there's something that they feel like cannot be replaced within their life but it's it's not you um because this came out in reverse so it's sabotage i feel like this person is sabotaging this situation or you're sabotaging the situation maybe you're sabotaging the situation because you feel like someone can't be replaced because this energy goes both ways you may be the one that's doing this usually when i pull these this is about a love and, and dealing with another partner um or dealing with someone of a, a person of interest like if you're single, this just might be a person of interest that you have in your life. Um, I want to see why indecisive is here and missed opportunity. Um, and con, do I want to get conversation? I guess in conversation. Yeah. Let's get dishonesty too. Let's see what uh what the lies about. Because someone feels like 
them lying has kind of ripped you guys apart. All right, so let's see why irreplaceable is here. Why is irreplaceable here in reverse? Why is irreplaceable here in reverse? Six of Wands here. So Six of Wands is about having some sort of victory. Um, Six of Cups here, yeah. This is dealing with the past. Someone may be going back to a past situation. Uh, there may be kids involved. There could be uh, maybe, I don't know, I want to say high school sweethearts. Or if not high school sweethearts, because it may not be. Um, Knight of Cups here, someone could be going back to an ex-lover. Knight of Swords here, there is some movement back and forth. Oh, movement. One more on, on irreplaceable in reverse. We got Five of Swords here. Someone feels like they made an unwise decision, so they're moving forward. Six, six, six. Oh, no, that's seven. Seven Swords. My bad. So with the Seven of Swords here, someone's lying. I, I definitely feel like someone... There was some unwise decision made i feel like there's there's something that's balancing out moving forward here with this irreplaceable but someone's going back to a past situation someone feels like someone from their past cannot be replaced we got indecisive here why is indecisive here that is way too many cards why is indecisive here we got the nine of wands sideways not upside down but sideways so someone's conflicted about um the nine of ones is about having the courage or overcoming something someone's conflicted about overcoming something so someone may be indecisive because they are not fully over something they don't have the strength to fully complete something why is this indecisive here we have the eight of ones here someone okay someone hasn't moved moved forward so you could be dealing with someone that may not have moved forward from a past situation I'm, I'm definitely getting that ten of swords in uh underneath here this is about embracing the end of a difficult situation death in reverse yeah someone's indecisive because they can't let go of something <sighs> empress here taurus libra energy here so you could be dealing with someone yeah this is some sort of partnership a fortunate partnership i feel like there are some positive changes that could be happening but honestly I think the positive change is letting this go. And, and I only say that because there is something that is like letting go of something for something better. So I do feel like someone's indeci indecision hurts you. And I feel like it puts you in a space of feeling as though you can't move forward, as you can't close something out. Maybe you, maybe you feel like you need closure. I'm going I'm to tell you something that I've seen that it helped me a, a lot the disrespect is the closure you get what i'm saying um the choosing other is the closer if someone's choosing someone other than you that's the closure you don't need any more closure that is a direct message that i choose something different um and it and not saying that it doesn't hurt not saying that you don't feel rejected not saying that it, it isn't a painful experience but that is the closure and experiencing the pain and allowing yourself to heal from that pain will allow you to be able to move forward and allow something better in like you're never going to leave something and go to something worse unless you haven't learned the lesson unless you have not incorporated what you've learned that's the whole point of us having relationships having jobs having connections with other people is so that we can learn grow and evolve um relationships are meant for you it's not i know we want to find someone and be together forever because nobody wants to keep having their heart broke but the whole purpose of pain in this existence is for you to become uncomfortable enough to change your circumstances so i used to say this all the time if i was sitting poking you with the damn needle in your arm you would move because physical pain hurts, but so does emotional pain. So if you got someone that's consistently breaking your heart, move. Don't continue to put yourself in positions where you end up hurt. All right, and not saying that you close yourself off at all. You don't close yourself off. You learn what caused this pain. You learn how to incorporate that moving forward. Like if you know that dealing with a certain person means that you will have a, a lack of attention, a lack of time, and you start to see those qualities and other people that you're dealing with, remove yourself from those other people so, don't you, so that you don't begin to experience, it, experience the same cycle over and over again. I just did... I don't know why I'm talking like that. I just did Cancer read and it was almost the same energy. And usually Cancer and Leo energy is about the same. But even in the Cancerian energy or in the Cancer reading, I talk about you dealing with the same devil 
but with two different faces. Some of you guys keep attracting people of the same energy because you haven't learned that karmic lesson. It's just a, it's a different face, same though. Okay. All right. So we have missed opportunity here. What is this missed opportunity doing here? We got temperance here, tower here. It wasn't reversed, but it flipped up right in my hand. So all of, out, out, out of nowhere, I feel like um, someone's going to get another chance here. Ten cups here, another chance at love. Some of you guys, you may feel like you're missing. Oh, okay, okay. So you have an opportunity here. You, Because of something ending, you may feel like you missed out at a chance of love. I feel like I don't know where um, within time, because divine timing, temperance up is divine timing. I feel like out of nowhere, because that's out of nowhere, or maybe there's some sort of revel revelation that's happening in time dealing with a relationship. I feel like out of nowhere, though, you'll get what it is that you want, but also... 10 is an end with uh, the tower. So some of you guys, out of nowhere, a relationship could end. It could be a missed opportunity. Um, but there's because there's something new coming. Give me more on this uh, missed opportunity. I feel like there's something new, better coming. Sun here. This is your energy. So you may have missed out an, on an opportunity here. You may have missed out, and you missed out on an opportunity because you were holding back. So something ended because you were holding back. Or you were holding on to different options. Something ended. It's a missed opportunity. Um, I don't know if this is a phone conversation or something. Devil here, Capricorn energy. Some of you guys could be communicating with a Capricorn. There could be a Capricorn that wants to um, call and hear your voice. They want to have some sort of communication with you. Four of Pentacles here, but you may have let them go or they may have let you go. We got the Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. So some of you guys, you're trying to balance out i feel like you're trying to love yourself in order to become become more balanced in order for your foundation to become more balanced we have the four of cups um you're unhappy right now queen of pentacles here you could be dealing with a capricorn but you're or, or this has to do with the capricorn because queen of pentacles here with the devil card is capricorn energy so for some of you guys i feel like you're just trying to focus on yourself trying to love yourself you really let go some of you guys Someone wants to call in here voice, but you've let them go. You're very unhappy with them. Uh, Nine of Swords here and the Seven of Swords. You have too many anxieties about either cheating, lying, being deceptive. Yeah, someone's been deceptive with you. And I got dishonesty here. So whoever this is, like either, I don't know if y'all have been lying to each other. Or this is just someone that has been lying to you. There's also two women involved here. So I feel like some of you guys are unhappy. Now you're trying to focus on yourself. You're really trying to... Um, Focus on your value, on your worth. You could be dealing with your ego, hurt feelings. Four of Cups and the Devil card is hurt feelings. Okay? So some of you guys could be acting out. You could be in a space of um, desiring some sort of attention because your feelings are hurt. But, or someone could be desiring attention because their feelings are hurt. But whoever this is, there's been some dishonesty here and it brings anxieties. There could be like a fear that you're going to lie to me again or a fear that, yeah, there's a third party involved. So there's multiple people involved. Someone could be fearing that someone's just going to lie to them again. Page of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Ace of Yeah, oh. So for some of you guys, there could be a younger earth sign coming in. Page of Pentacles is a younger earth sign. You could have a younger earth sign coming in. But I feel like there's this sort of self-sacrificing that's happening. So for some of you guys, I don't know if you're going to take this opportunity. But there's an opportunity here with someone new. Someone wants to put forth some sort of effort. They may even want to put forth some, some sort of effort. Let me tell you the problem. If this person that wants to call you and you've already cut them off, you're, you've let them go because you're unhappy with whatever they've done, with the lies that they told. If they come in with this ace of cups for two of cups for a relationship this opportunity for a relationship it is that's literally like a it could just be a text it because page of page of pinnacles is small effort it's like it's like taking a, a, a baby steps um and i don't think that's where you are because queen of pinnacles here if this is your energy queen of pinnacles you're very much in like i'm i'm taking care of myself but i feel like this person they may not see your value like you see your value because you see yourself Queen of Pentacles, but they may see you as Page of Pentacles. Or you're dealing with someone that's younger than you, so they may be approaching you from their level. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's read what we have for dishonesty. Why is dishonesty here? We got Hermit Energy here with the Eight of Swords. Someone here may have ghosted you. Eight of Swords, um, they could be very much in their head. 
Um, Ten of Swords here, trying to embrace the end of some difficulties. Someone could be dealing with a lot of difficulties within their life, which could be creating some sort of blockages. They could be trying to retreat, trying to recover. I feel like there's this back and forth energy here. King of Swords, it could be dealing with an air sign. There's some sort of back and forth energy here. Page of Wands here. I don't know if this is dealing with a child or this is dealing with someone new. Maybe you guys are dealing with a King of Swords. This has someone new. They could be back and forth between you and a new person. Maybe a younger person. Someone could be back and forth with you. And I feel like King of Swords here, but with the King of Swords and the Two of Swords, even though the King of Swords can speak truth, they're blocking the truth because they're inside of themselves trying to embrace the end of some maybe some sort of difficulty that they've been experiencing hermit here you could be dealing with king of swords here hermit this virgo energy you could be dealing with someone that has to go down another path and they are trying to kind of rest before they go on a journey so someone could be back and forth um in your life and i've definitely seen that some of, some of you guys could be dealing with someone that's back and forth in your life could be back and forth between you and another person all right Let's see what else we have for Leo. I don't know. This could have something to do with money, too, because I was just sitting. I, I usually don't do that, but I was sitting counting it like money. So that could be significant. Could have something to do with money. All right. Let's see what messages we got. Ooh. What messages do we have for me? Put this over here. What messages do we have for you? I don't feel like I deserve you. So someone feels like they don't deserve you. And let me tell you, there is nothing worse than dealing with someone who does not feel worthy to be with you. Because they will literally sabotage the relationship over and over again. With you, Tay, my demons, I feel like uh, you may be like someone that kind of slows this person down a little bit. Okay. What other messages do you have for Leo? And you, there, it seems like there could be multiple people in your energy. So take it and res as it resonates. It says I'm ready to take off my mask. Someone's ready to speak some sort of truth to you. Um, every time my phone rings, I hope it's you. Someone definitely wants to hear. They want to hear you. They want to talk to you. Someone wants to talk to you. Ooh. So I'm afraid of commitment. You could be dealing with someone that's afraid of commitment. Ooh. Oh, wow. So I've been manifesting you. For it's being reversed, they have not been manifesting anything good. Um... We're going to clarify that. Let me put that up there. We're definitely going to clarify that. All right. And I'm afraid of commitment. We're going to clarify them too. What messages do we have for Leo? I'm ready for commitment. So someone's afraid of commitment, but ready for commitment at the same time. We're going to clarify that too because well, how is that possible? I know that we have a soul connection. So someone knows that you have a soul connection. They know that you're connected spiritually. Okay. What we got here? I should have fought for you. So, I feel like th whoever this is, they're in love with you. They're still holding on to the memories of you, um, and they should have fought for you. I feel like here, though, this person may be in love with you, and I feel like they, before I can say anything, it says, I need to work on myself. I'm trying to clear my head. So, this person... I do feel like that they love you. I do feel like that they're holding on to memories, but the fact that they're holding on to memories, it feels like they don't feel like that this can be recovered. Um, with I should have fought for you, this person should have and will, like, they, if, 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 my thing is, if you want to fight for me, what's stopping you from fighting for me now? You know what I'm saying? Why is it I should have? That means that you have no intention on doing anything let's 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 see what's going on with this uh soul connection too all right Whew. i've been manifesting you in reverse what has this person been manifesting all oh, three came out so someone feels like it's not ooh, nine of pentacles here judgment in reverse someone feels like it's not the right time for something um i feel like this person does love you they want to offer you something some sort of emotional offer um could be a water sign here especially with the judgment here and the king of um cups could be a pisces could be a scorpio 
I feel like though with the nine of pentacles here, this person may be focused on their finances, focused on their money right now. They feel like they don't have time for this. Someone feels like they don't have time for this. So that could be an issue here. Uh give me more on this. Yeah, that's some six of swords in reverse. That's a lack of moving forward. I do feel like here they're they are focused. Uh so the truth about this is maybe you guys have a conflicting relationship. There could be a lot of fights and that's the truth. So I don't feel like they're manifesting you. They feel like they don't have time for you. And it's not that they don't love you, but maybe the fights create problems. You know how sometimes people get into an argument and like their whole day is fucked up because they can't get it out of their head. You may be dealing with someone like that that has a hard time like recovering from from their feelings with the moon card here uh, and they could be focused now on moving forward because you could be triggering them so maybe 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 that's why this person probably does want a commitment but they may be afraid of a commitment with you because you guys trigger each other why is this i'm afraid of commitment here we got the nine of wands here so i feel like someone really is trying to master their commitment issues um in the past here i definitely feel like there have been some commitment issues some of them be still holding on to memories of the past look Death card in reverse popped out as I said that someone needs to let go of regrets. Someone is dealing with holding on to regrets of things that have happened previously. So that puts them in the space of, yeah, two of swords in reverse of blocking out love, blocking out uh, commitments. What is this? We got the ten of swords in reverse. Um, someone here is not fully healed. Ten of swords in reverse is still going through the thick uh, of a mental distraught. And with the four of swords here, I feel like someone still has to heal. So you're... Either this is you or someone that you're dealing with. Um, Knight of Pentacles here, Six of Pentacles here with the Eight of Swords. This is like someone is gonna, it's gonna take a long time for a situation to balance out. And I feel like there's some anxiety on your part and whoever you're dealing with that it's gonna take too long for this to balance out. So they're afraid of commitment here. Queen of Wands here with the Four of Wands, they're afraid of making plans with you. Um, and maybe because they see you as self serving self-loving like you're holding on to your self-love so they may feel like you know it's too much for them to deal with um why do we have i'm ready for commitment here we have the eight of wands in reverse so they're afraid of commitment but they don't want to let you go is what it's saying eight of wands in reverse is not is not moving forward we have the justice under here um that could be significant you could be dealing with a libra we also got cancer energy here cancer energy again um two cancer energies here I also got fire sign. Give me more on this. I'm ready for commitment. World card in reverse. And it, it flipped in reverse in my head. So someone hasn't let go. Someone hasn't fully learned the lesson here. So this person, emperor energy here, I definitely feel like this has to do with, and this is underneath. So this has to do with setting some sort of boundaries, creating some sort of restriction. I feel like there's a lesson between the two of you. Yeah, five pentacles here. This has to do with money. So some of you guys, there's a lesson dealing with financial security between the two of you. I do feel like this person is ready to commit, again, Empress energy here, Taurus energy here. I feel like this person is ready to commit, um, but it's to some sort of partnership. So maybe they're ready to work something out with someone. There could be someone that's pregnant as well, because the Empress is pregnant. She literally has a baby. Um, I know that we have a soul connection. What, what do we have for that? I know that we have a soul connection. What is we have for that? We have the Six of Cups. So you guys, this person may feel like your soulmates because that is the soulmate card. You may feel like, someone may feel like that your soulmates, um, they, they know that you have a connection. Seven of Pentacles here. Maybe in the past they've invested some time, energy, maybe even some money into you. This may be a karmic uh, relationship. And let me tell you, not all karmic relationships are bad because this is upright, okay? Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is upright, a Libra or an Aquarius. This is upright. This is about making okay so this is about balancing out the heart and the mind and having the strength to pursue wish fulfillment anyway um i feel like this could be it's it's not necessarily it's a toxic relationship but it's a toxic relationship because you're you two are together to teach each, each other something um and 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 you may be refusing to learn the lesson because Subconsciously, you know that learning this lesson means that you have to let this situation go. And I feel like that's on both of your ends. You have to learn something from the situation. They have to learn something from the situation. And it has to do with money. 
it has to do with money, where you're investing your money, where you're investing your time, your energy, because time, energy, all that is, is money. It's, it's, you get what I'm saying? So I feel like for, for a lot of you guys, this is a karmic connection. I don't feel like it will end on bad terms. I really feel like if you'll be able to balance things out, but there's lessons that you have to learn that are going to help you move forward. Okay. Yeah. Tower here with the, uh, yeah. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you know that you gotta let this go. Tower here with the High Priestess and the Ten of Cups with the Magician. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been trying to manifest something different. Maybe you've been trying to remedy this situation. Maybe you've been trying to, um, like see the end I'm getting. So maybe you've been like watching tarot readings or getting tarot readings, trying to see how this will end. It's the thing about it is it's going to end amic amic amicably. I couldn't even get it right. So maybe it won't end automatically amicably. Maybe it'll take some time for you guys to get to some sort of common ground. But I do think that moving forward, it'll be like family. I don't think it's going to be romantic moving forward. It's going to be more like family. You guys could also be like business partners here. I feel like the problem is someone is at a crossroads and they're like investing. Yeah, this King of Pentacles is investing into a Queen of Pentacles. So this, I feel like here, I feel like you're going to find your match. King and Queen of Pentacles, you're going to find your match. This is life partner. You're going to find your match. But Tower of Ten of Cups, you have to release this. And I feel like you know that. Because Magician here with the High Priestess, you know that there's some sort of action that needs to be taken. And I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles here and the Four of Wands, this is about investing in plans, investing in dreams. For some of you guys, maybe you're, there's a dream or there's a, a goal that you have that you could be putting on the back burner. Because you, you're wanting to fulfill your desires right now. This could have to do with sex as well for a lot of you guys because Knight of Wands. But I feel like you're at a crossroads or someone's at a crossroads because this has to do with sex. And for some of you guys, it has to do with money. All right, you know where you fit in the equation. And I feel like I got to do with money because every time I pick up these cards, it's like um, some of you guys, there's a lot of money involved. And maybe why you know, people can't let go of money for whatever reason. They see that as something stable. It's just paper. It's not stable at all. I can tear it. It's not stable. It's just the illusion of giving stability because it allows you to buy things that you desire. But it's not stable at all it's very fleeting it's supposed to flow you know what i'm saying all right so let's see here what messages do we have how long i man okay what messages do we have for leo what messages do we have for leo yes right now is your lucky time it says luck is on your side so right now luck is on your side if you follow your intuition you're being guided down a, a new path what do we have for leo here what do we have for leo here all right, so we have caution in reverse. Whew. Caution. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, if you get, we got vacation under here. If you get invited somewhere by someone, um, whether it's be on a, this is during Mercury retrograde, I feel like if you get invited somewhere with someone, you need to be cautious here. It says find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. But I feel like with caution in reverse, this is like, you know, Throwing caution to the wind. I feel like luck is on your side. I feel like you're going to be okay, but you do need to tread lightly. What messages do we have for Leo? What messages do we have for Leo? We got love spell here. So this could have something to do with love spell. Somebody could have put a love spell on you. Somebody could have put a binding spell on you with caution and love spell here. Some of you guys, I don't feel like you're aware. I feel like this is a warning. I'm going to clarify that caution. I feel like that's a warning. What messages do we have for Leo? And if you're doing love spells, that is a warning. Um, you could be moving. There could be a change of residence. You could be moving in with a partner. Um, are there something dealing with moving here? Some sort of love spell? What messages do we have? Sexuality. Someone could be questioning their sexuality. This could be same sex. That's literally what it says. Someone is still figuring themselves out with their sexuality. So, so I feel like someone's trying to figure out what they want. What messages do we have for Leo? We have no, it's not the right time, um, but it's in reverse. So I feel like some of you guys are dealing with a narcissist. There could be a pregnancy involved, I told you. Some of you guys are dealing with a narcissist. There could be a water sign that's pregnant. Could be pregnant by a water sign. 
Some of you guys are dealing with a narcissist. I feel like no in reverse is it's it says it's not the right time, but I think it's a no. Like luck is on your side, but I feel like there's a change of resonance that's necessary. Some of you guys are dealing with someone that's really questioning themselves. What messages do we have for Leo? We got challenges here. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, I told you, we got vacation here. So if some of you guys get invited somewhere to go on a vacation, go on some sort of trip, you need to be cautious. This is a warning. You're gonna deal, you're gonna be dealing with a lot of challenges um moving forward. I do feel like you'll be traveling, but not without issues. What messages do we have for Leo? What messages do we have for Leo? Okay. We have cycles. Some of you guys are dealing with a karmic cycle. That's literally what that means. Fate, karma, something ending, something begins. Something is ending in order for something to begin. What messages do we have for Leo? Date night. For some of you guys, you could be going on some sort of date. Um, I feel like you need to follow your intuition seriously this month because with uh, caution, it's almost like you're not, you're not paying attention. I feel like you're being given the signs, but you're ignoring, like you're throwing caution to the wind. You're ignoring all of the signs. Um, intuition under there. I'm going to pull on that. Some of you guys, I feel like you're communicating with a liar. You know it. You can, you know that you're communicating with a liar and it's literally telling you that you need to move on. Some of you guys are communicating with a liar. They lying straight through their motherfucking teeth. And you know it though, but you're, you don't care. Because caution here, you don't care. So, luck is on your side. I feel like we're going to cl clarify love spell. There's a love spell that is Someone put a spell on someone um, to bind them. We're going to clarify sexuality because someone is, I don't know if they're struggling with their sexuality or it's just someone still trying to figure themselves out. Okay. We're definitely going to clarify this trio that came out here because there's a pregnancy involved here. And I want to clarify this no in reverse because I want to know why it's in reverse and cycles. Okay. Y'all got to hurry up. Uh, I, I'm, I'm almost there. Okay. So, actually, we're just going to clarify. Because I don't need to clarify all these. We're going to clarify caution, love spell, sexuality. We're going to leave that at this because that means someone is, we're going, someone is questioning their sexuality. But I want to clarify this trio right here. Because some of you guys are dealing with a narcissist. Someone could be pregnant. This could have to do with a pregnancy. Okay. What messages do we have for caution in reverse? Why is caution in reverse? Ace of Swords. You need to see the truth about something, the clarity about something. I feel like some truth is going to come out. So the thing about it is, you don't have to be cautious anymore because the truth is going to come out. But I don't think you're going to like it. Because I feel like with the Eight of Wands, it could be like 10 steps back I'm getting. So, well, the hangman here, you're, you're going to see something from a different perspective. Ace of Wands. For some of you guys, you're going to turn down an opportunity. You could be losing because a lot of your... Uh, Fire, uh, fire uh, cards have been coming out in reverse. You could be losing like a desire for someone or something. Six of Pentacles here. I feel like you're wanting something more balanced. Why is love spell here? We got Ten of Wands here. So some of you guys, you've been bewitched um, with the Ten of so I mean Ten of Wands here. This is an end to difficulties. I do feel like with the Four of Wands, this could be someone in your household. Um, Four of Pentacles here. Someone trying to hold you. Or you could have put a spell to hold someone. Queen of Pentacles here. So, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. I feel like either someone put a love spell on someone to hold them. Or, Tower here. This is like... Someone could have put a love spell on someone to end a relationship. Someone could have put a love spell on someone to end a relationship. High Priestess here, Magician here. I feel like you know who done this work. Tell me more about this. We got the Two of Cups. This is about, this is a committed relationship. So someone here could have been committed to someone. And it was because of a love spell. Trying to hold on to someone. Yeah. 10-10 ten, ten is an end though. 10-10-10. Ten, ten, ten. Three tens is an end. So if someone put a love spell on you, it's over. If someone put a love spell on someone else, it's over. Um, to hold them back. Give me more. What happened with this love spell? 
Queen of Swords here. Someone's lying here. So I feel like someone's stuck. This is Virgo Gemini energy here. This is a lover. This is a, this is someone stuck. Three of Swords here with the Strength card here. This could have created some sort of heartbreak, some sort of severance here. Page of Wands. So there could be a Leo, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Virgo, a Gemini. One of the, I'm getting Virgo because of this Queen of Pentacles here with the Magician. The Queen of Pentacles can be any earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But someone here, I don't know if someone's under a love spell. Someone's under a binding spell. I feel like someone, this is almost like someone put somebody's name in a freezer. Because this is like someone trying to stop progress. Someone trying to hold someone back. And maybe even hold them back from moving forward with someone else. So we got water sign, pregnancy, narcissist. Why is this, why is this combination come out? Sign here. So somebody could be pregnant by a water sign. You could be pregnant by a water sign. Someone from your past, children involved with this. Ah. You could be pregnant by a water sign. Eight of Swords. And it's, it's keeping you restricted mentally. Um, Four of Cups here. There could be some sort of regret. Seven of Pentacles here. Regret investing time. Regret investing energy. We got the Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's this sun and moon here. You could be This could be a, a, a Cancer or a Pisces. Also Virgo, Gemini, uh, Sagittarius. Someone here is pregnant. Yes, sun is a is a yes. Someone here is pregnant. Um, pregnant by someone from their past. Pregnant by a water sign or pregnant by a Leo or you could be pregnant by a water sign. Someone you've known for a long time. Maybe seven plus years, ten plus years. But this is bringing anxiety. Why is this bringing anxiety? Why is this, why is this happening? This way? Why is because this is not the right time. So some of you guys, you're pregnant. Or you were pregnant. Because tempers can be a loss. But either someone you're dealing with is pregnant. Or got someone pregnant. And restricted mentally because it's not the right time. They feel like it's not the right time. Re regretting some sort of investment. Something is about to be exposed, and this may have to do with a baby. This may have to do with a, a child. All right, so let's clarify here. I mean, let's uh, pick this up and move forward. Someone feels like now is not the right time. Or this may be why someone is moving away from you because they may, be, they may have gotten someone pregnant, so they may feel like it's just not the right time for you and them to, you know, connect. Especially if there's, another, if there's a baby on the way. There could also be like a desire to have a baby with someone. So someone could want to have a baby with someone else. Have a baby by me. I'm sorry. That's, I'm just saying. All right. So let's see here. What messages do we have for Leah? What messages do we have? I'm sorry. I hate how much I've hurt you. I'm sorry for all the pain I've caused. You didn't deserve any of it. So someone is sorry that they caused so much pain uh, within your life. Uh, definitely see some situations where there's some pain being caused. Um, it says, I feel bound by my culture, my family beliefs on how I should live my life. I feel bound by my culture and my family beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working toward breaking free from limiting myself based on their beliefs. So someone here could have like rejected you or could just be in a space of like trying to move away from you because of other people's opinions. All right, we got your mind. Whew. So it says, I get so pissed knowing other people have access to you. It says, I get so pissed knowing other people can have you now. Is it toxic? Yeah, I don't care. I want, I want the world to know you're mine. So this person may be out here claiming you, um, even though they're feeling like they can't be with you. They might be out here claiming you, um, getting mad because you is living your best life. What other messages do we have to leave? I'm leaving. So this person may be leaving. It says, I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. So this person is leaving. I don't know if they're leaving you or what, but they're leaving. 
What other messages do we have? Okay, we got nervous. You make me nervous even thinking about you. I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. I feel like uh, I'm starting to feel like they that there's something that they want to tell you that may seal this for you. We got focused on money here, and I definitely seen that. And somebody's very much focused on their money. Um, it says I'm currently focusing on my career and finances. My main priority is financial stability. With my fantasy, you you may be this person's fantasy. It says you're my fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved with you and use them for inspiration. I want you. So they could be jacking off to your pictures or masturbating to your pictures or your videos or whatever. Okay. It says you're mysterious. I can never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where I stand with you. So someone, it's almost like you guys are giving off the same energy. <laughs> so I feel like um, this person feels like you're mysterious and I feel like that in itself may make you know be a fantasy to them it says let go of the past can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down my life our past holds us back from my future so he this person may feel like well, he that's my dog making all that noise but someone may feel like um you guys should let go of the past and kind of rewind time it's almost like can we get a do-over um but that definitely means that there's some shit um, this person's going to be contacting you soon. That definitely means that this is some shit that they've done that you probably don't want to go back to. All right. So we got you're my soulmate and you're my dream. So this person says, I've been dreaming about you. And in my dreams, we are so free and in love. I wish I could stay there forever. It says you're my soulmate. It must be written in the stars because you're most definitely are my destiny. We belong together. You're dealing with someone that does love you. Um, for whatever reason, they feel like they have to leave you though. So I want to clarify, I'm sorry and I'm leaving and let go of the past. I feel like, I feel like you're, you're like, this person may feel like you're out of their lead, like you're too good for them. So they're, they're probably not going to invest, especially with the pregnancy thing. If there's someone else involved, I, I definitely feel like this person is moving forward. But they definitely still are holding on to you. So I'm sorry here. Why is I'm sorry here? We have the hangman here. Uh, so they're sorry because three of swords, ten of cups. They had to break up with you. Or they had to betray you for either a family situation. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, I, I feel like they want you to see things from a different perspective. Because this could have to do with commitment. It could have to do with the family. High priestess here. Strength here with the queen of swords. They know that you're mad. So they know that you're upset with them. They know that you're mad with them. They're sorry. Um, they don't feel like you deserve any of it. Seven of Pentacles here. I feel like they have other investments though. Eight of Cups here, yes. So they have other, they have to invest elsewhere. Maybe this person is on a path and they have to do something else. You feel me? Maybe they, they, they are starting a new career and it requires them to travel the world. And maybe they can't invest the time that they need to invest in you. We have, I'm leaving here. What is this? I'm leaving. So yeah. Five of Pentacles here, there's a change within this foundation. Someone here is focused on changing the foundation. They could be broke right now. Ace of Pentacles, and they could have an opportunity to balance out the situation. Five plus one is six Pentacles. So they could have an opportunity to create a more a even flow with money. Um, we got the Knight of Wands here. I feel like they have different desires. Um, Knight of Wands is moving toward desires, acting on desires. So they may be acting on a desire to leave, maybe finding the strength to leave a situation. Tower here, yes. So I feel like they're, we got tower underneath here. I feel like they're, yeah, this person is walking away from the past. There's new investments. They're learning, they're doing something new with their life and it requires them to go down a different path. So we got the three of wands here with the seven of cups and the page of swords. I feel like this person is in alignment with a dream. Um, they may have other choices which create challenges within the situation that you are that you guys are dealing with. So with the tower energy under here, I do feel like there's a release that's necessary. I feel like someone here is releasing some sort of relationship. Son, they're releasing a relationship with you. And I feel like this is going to happen suddenly. And it, it's because of something in the past. I feel like for some of you guys, this person may have let, may have gotten someone in like an ex or something pregnant. It says let go of the past. Can we rewind time or maybe you're pregnant and they have to like move in a different. Or you got somebody pregnant. 
So we got let go of the past. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down my life tower? They want you to release the memories. Nine of Swords, release what's creating anxiety. So, you know, even if you and this person communicate, but you're always like, who are you talking to? What you was doing? I know you was with a bitch, da 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 I know you was with a nigga, da 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 They want you to let go of all the shit that they, that they did. You feel me? Um, especially if there's third parties involved. They want you to kind of let things go. You may be in a space of not doing that because you don't trust them. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm not sure you should because earlier it says you're dealing with a liar. So take that however it resonates for you. Let go of the past here. All right. So we have the star here. So this may be, um, you may be dealing with an Aquarius, two of swords here. There could be some blockages to something ending. Okay. Divine timing is at play here. What other messages do we have for let go of the past? We also got Scorpio, Sagittarius energy. That's some sort of blockages. Some of you guys may have blocked someone out. Someone could have blocked you out tower here you could find out some sort of information here magician here king of swords here so for some of you guys i don't know if you're dealing with a master manipulator king of swords is set, someone's resisting you king of swords this king of swords may be resisting you it, you could be asking them to let go of the past or they could want you to let go of the past um especially with that toxic relationship maybe you guys are consistently triggered because of the history that you share so this person will like, you know, even though they're, even though they're, they're, they're leaving, they're going down a new path. I feel like they still want to be friends. They still want to have a connection with you. They may just still want to have access to you. And if you're okay with that, then by all means, you know what I'm saying? Let's get some guidance. So we're going to pull from the rebel deck. What guidance do we have for Leo? What guidance do we have for Leo? What guidance do we have for Leo? It says... Wait, we got two. All right. Get over yourself and pull your shit together. Help people give back. Do good shit for humanity. So some of you guys need to pull yourself together right now. I told you. I know what I'm talking about. It says, you think someone is lying? Mm-hmm. See that? I'm trying to get it to focus. I. They are. So whoever you think is lying, they're lying. Say stop sleeping so damn much too. For some of you guys, you, you're gonna sleep your life away. All right. You need a big fucking hug. So some of you guys, I feel like you're kind of down right now. You need a hug. Um, okay. You need a hug. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's see here. What message do you have for Leo? We're going to, these are closing messages. What messages do we have for Leo? So we have withdrawal. So some of you guys could be withdrawing from a situation, destruction. You're withdrawing from a situation before it collapses on top of you. I get it. I understand. Some of you guys are pulling back. It's almost like I'm going to leave them before they leave me. Why is withdrawal here? 20, Earth. Could be dealing with Earth sign. This card is reflective of the winter season, the time of stillness. So this could end in the winter time. Okay. It says, this card is reflective of the winter season, the time of stillness, death, and collecting our resources. It calls for a retreat of sorts. While our culture values pr productivity, doing, acting, and pushing forward, spirit is asking you to take a break and relax. Go within yourself, find stillness, and gather your strength for what is to come. We often find the solutions we need when we step away from all that we are doing and allow ourselves to unfold. Okay. Let's see what else we have for Leah. What messages for guidance? Okay. So we have the answers you need are coming. We also got prosperity lies ahead and a fiery climax approaches. So ooh, let's clarify. Let's let's read actually. The answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini. Full moons represent endings. Um, there's an ending that's going to create some sort of change within your life because Gemini is all about change, dualities. Okay. 72. That's a nine. So this is about your personal development. All right. This card is a reminder that it's important to speak your truth. 
but remember your words have consequences and impact your listener. Right now, you need to guard against indiscretion. The answers you, the answers you need may well come soon. The issue you're facing could could well be one of the few conversations away from being resolved. If you're inquiring about a love situation, a little flirting may be called for. If you're in the middle of an argument, this card comes as a reminder that the old, very non-Gemini message, least said, soon mended. It's good to talk, but be careful you aren't causing yourself any issues with your words. Words have an enormous power. As, metaphys as metaphysician Florence Scovel Shin put it, your words your word is your wand. You create magic and your own reality every time you express yourself. The attunement to the moon here. Have an important conversation, but stay calm. Additional meanings. Don't be superficial. Someone is trying to flirt with you. Have you noticed? You need to laugh off the situation and just move on. Job applications have good prospects. The teachings, talk, talk, and more talk. As the emotional full moon moves into the communication sign of Gemini, it's too easy to say too much. So mind how you go if you pull this card. This card can also indicate an enjoyable social event. Since the full moon in Gemini is a great time for socializing, this card augurs well for any study you're either taking or considering. Okay? Let's read what we have for, pro for Prosperity Lies Ahead. That's a new moon in Taurus. So for some of you guys, you could be ending things with a Gemini or an Aries. You could also have a new Taurus coming in. Okay, Taurus is the best. And I'm up. All right, prosperity lies ahead. Ooh, my leg hurt. So this is, a, like I said, new moon in Taurus. New energy is coming in. 44. Ooh, that's a good number. I'm telling you, we look best. All right. This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. This card suggests you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This card this comes down to the laws of attraction. You value yourself and others, value yourself and others will value you too. I think I said that in the beginning of the read. This is about you valuing yourself. Okay? You create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus, and this card holds the new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12-month financial plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship or of sexier times. If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon in sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet. Attunement to the moon. Get or give a massage. Healthy body equals healthy mind. Additional meanings for this card. You will soon be able to afford the thing you're dreaming of. Get a clear picture on what you value most will help you find peace. Take some time to pamper yourself. Start a savings, start a standing order to a savings account, no matter how small. The teachings. We often feel that it's somehow wrong to focus on our finances, but the truth is that money can make life far more comfortable from a physical point of view. Taurus knows this, and the new moon in Taurus is the time to work your magic to create the money you want so you can have the creature comforts you want. Remember, though, that someone else is still wishing for, you, for what you already have, so that's a direct message to be grateful for where you are. Okay, and a lot of times we're like, well, I don't like where I am. We'll be grateful you're not in a worse position, but still strive for better. Okay, it's, it's okay to still want better while still being grateful for where you are. It says the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. So there could, that's, that's another. Some of you guys have two cycles that are closed and possibly with two different people. 72 here. I just read that. That's not the right one. Um, full moon in Aries. <laughs> But this is a, a second full moon, so there could definitely be two cycles that are ending. That is a 68. This is the first one. So this is just the beginning of something ending. This could be a long, drawn-out ending, okay? It's time to see if you've been a little bit too much me, me, me. This tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants. But you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. I told you. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have done. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh, gone too fast or overstepped the mark, then accept that on some level you've created this situation yourself, which means you can create your way out of it too. When this card comes up, a peak is coming and it could be fiery. The attunement to the moon, be nice, be kind, smile, and be polite as you navigate to where you want to be. Additional meanings for this card, being assertive is good. Don't just don't ride rough shed over anyone. If you're in a tense situation, meditate your way to peace. Don't be a baby. Sorry, but this could be the issue. 
you need to have more fun. The teaching in the, the full moon in Aries is a super fiery time when emotions can run very high. On the upside, there's excitement about what may lay ahead, but tempers are likely to fare with rash comments or decisions. No matter when you pull this card, it signals that the situation has just or is about to come to a peak, perhaps in a rather heated way. There could be a price to pay if you've been too competitive or too blunt. So for some of you guys, I got this in two different cards. Um, with the uh, answers you need and this, you might need to watch your mouth. Some of you guys could say some things that could really hurt a situation that you're dealing with. This is all I have. Until next time.